<laughs> How's it going? Now, guys, I want to start this set by bragging, but uh, recently I bought myself a laptop. <laughs> bought it outright. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> the only thing is, I own it, but at times it owns me. Because it has American spelling, and that shits me. <laughs> it always corrects me. The other day I just wrote the word meter. M-E-T-R-E, -E, and it corrected me, it said, no, it's meter, <laughs> M-E-T-E-R. I'm like, screw you, America, you don't even use that standard of measurement. <laughs> yeah, that's like a vegetarian just turning up to your barbecue and saying you should turn those steaks. Hey, you should piss off, this is not your jurisdiction. <laughs> Why don't you go back to your tofu and your wind chimes and you leave me out of it, all right? <laughs> I don't even know what quinoa is. I think it's unicorn spaff and I don't want to taste it. All right? <laughs> yep. Unicorn spaff. I think we all got our money's worth here, didn't we? That was, that was top shelf. Except being on my laptop, I'm on the internet constantly, more than I should be. But the thing is now, anyone can leave anything on the internet. There's so many avenues. People can go on Twitter. They can go on Facebook. They can go on MySpace if they're still living in 2000 and give that shit up. <laughs> but what kills me is anyone can write anything, but I don't know if it's worth reading. I don't know who that person is. It's like a faceless crime. I don't know if they're an Ivy League scholar or some nutcase who rides public transport and screams about marrying carrots. <laughs> like, personally, I think people should be IQ tested and then allocated a certain font. <laughs> yeah. So if you read a comment in, like, Times New Roman Gold Embossed Semi-Italic, you're just thinking, wow. Stephen Hawkins dropping some truth bombs. <laughs> I should take a sip of coffee and pay attention. If you go a little further and say there's a comment written in Wingdings, <laughs> you're like, I don't even know Kim Kardashian could type. That is <laughs> incredible. Wow. Wow. I think we live in a day and an age now where people, we're too worried about what's going to happen. But there is there's too many laws out now. We're too fastidious about things. You know, in some states of Australia, a police officer can find you on the spot if he hears you swearing in public. He can find you on the spot. Like, I'm a stand-up comedian. I live in fucking fear every day. <laughs> I remember when that law got put into place. The next day, I was walking down the street and two police officers were walking past me. I was so scared, guys. I was like, Sergeant, Stable. <laughs> and when I found out about this law, this blew my tiny mind apart. Did you know that if a man is sitting on a commercial flight in Australia, any commercial flight in this country, and if he's sitting on his own, but he is sitting next to an unaccompanied minor, a child from 12 or under, that man has to get moved on the off chance that he's a pedophile. That's the law. I'm like, wait, what did I do wrong? I'm just, I'm just sitting here on my laptop. I'm probably gonna bug the kid about how to spell the word meter, but that's it. <laughs> but you know, after I heard that law, I realized something now, guys. I now never, ever have to sit next to a screaming child on a flight ever again. <laughs> All I have to do is go, Boom! excuse me, stewardess, looks like this sexy child is missing its mother. <laughs> Guys, I've been Dave Thornton. Thanks.